Okay, welcome to a, a little muscle fishing film. It's not too long, this one. It's going to be how to launch a tough plastic boat. Um, you can also use this uh, for, for sibs as well, the same sort of process uh, on a steep shingle beach. So the beach goes all the way down there. Um, and luckily, this polycraft is really tough plastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to lift it onto the shingle, and then uh, I'm going to attach a rope to the front of it, and I'm going to put it all the way down to the, to the front, uh, which is going to act as a sledge, um, and then I'm going to take the engine down separately. So when you're launching your sib, because um, most of you guys watching this probably will have a sib, um, I would take the boat to the sea front first, where the sea starts to meet the, the land. <laughs> um, take that down on the wheels, lift it. I normally carry it, I don't normally use the wheels, I just, if there's two of us, handles at the back, one at the back, one at the front, lift it up, take it all the way down, and take the engine down separately and all your gear down separately. And on the return, do the absolute reverse. So you bring the boat in, engine off, engine up first, and all your gear up, and then your boat. It makes it a lot easier doing a couple of trips than one big heavy trip. Um, and also I feel like there's a lot, there's less tension uh, on the sibs as well, because you've got loads of weight in there and you're yanking on the handles, I feel like I can rip it. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how I launched this Polycraft Tarfi 300. If you're interested in this boat, give me a shout and I'll give you all the information for it. But today, uh, yeah, just gonna show you how to, how to launch it on shingle. First thing you've just seen me there is I've pulled the boat off of the trailer. Um, I've just slid it off um, on my own. I'm just going to use a rope here. We've got looped ropes. I'm going to attach it to the carabiner on there, and I'm just going to tug it all the way down. Well, what I might do is put the gear in first, so it's all in, and slide it down. Obviously, you won't be able to do that on the sieve. You won't be able to slide the boat, slide the sieve down. But on this, I can use it as a sledge. So I'll put the gear in, and I'm going to set the engine down separately. I think. Right, so we've loaded uh, all the gear up. I've got four rods today because me and a friend are going out. Um, I've put everything in there. You've got anchor, life jackets, fishing tackle, camera bag, radio, and I put the fuel tank on there as well. Um, so I'm gonna run down the engine separately just because it's a lot easier to do that as well. I think if you put the engine on the back, it's a little bit of stress on that transom and I don't really fancy that. So um, we're gonna push the boat all the way down now and then all it is a case of taking the engine down, attaching it and getting out there and catching some fish. So. I'm going to show you how this uh, rolls down the shingle, a solo. Right, so we've got it from the top of the beach, about halfway down the beach. Massive spring tide today. And uh, my mate's coming, so we've still got about 25 minutes left to, to wait. So I'm gonna leave that there. And I'm gonna grab the engine. I think we'll put the engine on there, and then we'll pull it down to the seafront. But theoretically, that is how to launch um, a tough tender. Job's a good one. Attach it on there and pull it down that way. Obviously, uh, in the next bit of the video, I'll film the bit when we're bringing it up. That's a bit more complicated. Right, 
right, so we've done our fishing session now. We're going to go and uh, beach the boat uh, and then we're going to retrieve it up the beach. And as promised, I did say I was going to do a video for this. So at the moment, we've got that blue line again. We've attached it to the front of the boat on a carabiner clip. My mate's going to jump out of the boat when it hits the shingle. Uh, he's going to just hold it in place. Obviously, I'm going to lift the engine up so it doesn't get damaged on the um, shingle. Uh, I'll jump out. We'll put up the boat as much as we can. Um, once the engine will be switched off at this point, we'll take up all the gear to the top of the beach. Um, I'll go and get my car. We'll take the engine up first, and then we'll um, then we'll pull the boat up. A lot easier doing it in sort of three goes, opposed to one big heavy go and it just getting nowhere. So just take the, pick your beach carefully. Make sure no one's on it. There's no fishermen or anything, ideally. Um, take your time. Don't need to rush and just very gradually go into the beach and, uh, and launch it or beach it. So we're coming in sort of on high tide at the minute, so we're quite steep, it's quite a steep beach. So we'll have to get it nice and touching the shingle so that my mate can get out and uh, yeah, not get soaking wet. Should be right now, come in. <laughs> oh, yeah, Go, 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 go! <laughs> so that one, they're actually quite big rollers. I said at high tide, it's um, it is harder to get in. So that's roughly how to do it. We've got that launch now, anyway. We'll take all the kit off and all the stuff up there and then uh, probably use the car to tow it up there I reckon otherwise we might um, we might struggle but that's how I that's how I do it so we're gonna take all the kit up there and I'll show you how to how we get it up the top so uh, when we came in we had a massive wave which kicked us forward so we had loads of water which got in the boat unfortunately so just draining it out now as I said reduced as much weight as possible before you attempt to try and get it up just, just lifted the engine, um, that's in the car now. Just take the engine off, put it on. Try and get the engine up here if you can. I'll sort of try and have the handle there and sort of back end of it on the shoulder and just pull it up. It's a lot better than lifting it from a lower level. But you can see these big rollers. Hence why coming in was a little bit tricky, but. There you go, we've emptied, emptied about 20 kilos of water there. So should be a bit easier to hopefully get it moving. If we can't do it ourselves, pulling it up, then we might use the car to sort of tow it up, but we'll. We'll attempt it uh, to begin with. So we're just gonna get a bit of manpower behind it and then use this rope here and just pull it up. Won't be quite as easy, but you get what I mean. Whew. Right, today we're a bit tired to be honest and the shingle is like this. So if you've got a tow bar, reverse back as far as you can. We're gonna reverse about two more foot. And then a big long line like this, put a couple of loops in it, attach it to the back of the tow bar, Drive forward as far as you can, obviously being careful that you're left and the right. Reverse back and then put it up on the next loop and that will bring the boat up. That's what you can do if you've not got a winch, so um, we'll show you now. He's on. Go! 
Right, that is the lazy man's method, but it, it definitely works. I actually forgot to carry on recording after this, but we simply lifted the boat onto the trailer, put the straps on and uh, got the boat home and cleaned it down. So I hope that's helped you. Um, maybe give you some ideas on how best to launch on a steep shingle beach.